Okay, I'm talking to Beth, Patsy, Gar Patsy Garner, Nasworthy Decker's sister. <laughs> I've known Beth for years because she always comes to Menard to visit Patsy. But she's a very interesting person, and so I wanted her to tell us this, a little story about some of the stuff she did years ago. I worked at Pio, Texas, at the B-17 base, the Rattlesnake base in, in uh, Pio. And I was just wondering if there was anybody out there that still is in contact with anybody, and if so, try and get in touch with, with Belinda through YouTube, and then I can get in touch with you. But yeah. we had, a, actually, we had a ball, because we were on the base, and we lived on the base, and we had a turnover of a few thousand men every six weeks. Now, we, what, what, <laughs> what year was this? A 1940, Two or three. Okay, so you were just out of high school? Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, it was, yeah, because I, I think I graduated in. Yeah, you did. Because we, I was there at the last year of the war. Okay. Like that, 44. 45 is when yeah, they dropped the right bomb, there. yeah. And we had a turnover of a few thousand men every six weeks that My were goodness. in, just picked up their crews and then brought them into Pio to train together. And I've always said if you had a skirt on, you had a date. I met. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. I met. And uh, we, uh, there was no discrimination actually as far as that goes because we dated both enlisted and officers and we went to the listsman dances, and we went to the officers' dances, and we had uh, uh, just a really interesting time. The one time that I kind of broke the rules, which is common for me. I don't know. I've never really paid that much attention to anybody's rules. But I was dating a one officer from West Point, which was very staid, very proper, and not much fun. <laughs> but at the end of the evening, something came up, and I don't know whether I made a remark or whether he did. I said, you know I haven't been up in a 17. So he said, okay. So we went down to the flight line, and there were mechanics working on the plane, and they finally said, it's okay. So he took off just as a pilot, no one else in the airplane but, but the two of us. And we flew all around, high out, and back, and then landed again. <laughs> You're shocking your sister, who, unlike you, yeah. always followed the rules. Yeah, and we landed. And I had on a corsage because back then the dances in the officer's club were formal. And I had a corsage on it. I took it off and I'd forgotten, left it on the plane. Oh. And the next day I made some oh, no. remark to this very special good friend of mine by the name of Hal Glucksman. And I said, I flew. And he said, you did not. And I said, no, I didn't. I'm sorry. I, I was not in that plane. <laughs> but that was a, a fun time. It, oh, that being is, in Pio was. That's very interesting. Yes. Where is that Air Force Base? In Pio, Texas. Where's Pio? Over on the other, see, I told you no one knows where it is. I don't. Uh, it's uh, over on, uh, oh, on the west side of Monaghan. Okay, that's where I figured it was. And uh, I mean, there's nothing in left that area. There now. But and they called it the Rattlesnake Base because they were built it. It was at one time University of Texas land. I don't know whether it still is or not. Mm, probably is. But they, I think they deeded it back or turned it back to Texas when the war was over. Yeah, well, that's but very interesting. There's a book out that I read, and I there was no word, word of truth in it. I mean, oh, I, the, man, the guy, what he did, he, was, he went over to Monahans, and he interviewed people that had, hadn't even been there at the time that they had that. And they told him all these things, and I kept thinking, that's not true. I was there. I know better than that. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that make a 